The Apple Vision Pro has been on everyone's feet lately, and whether you love it or hate it, we can all agree that it's certainly a huge leap forward for AR VR technology. Even before the Apple Vision Pro was released, many of those working in the defense industry have been wondering the same thing. Are AR VR devices like this the future of soldier systems? Heads up displays and helmet integrations? Futuristic combat goggles. The US government seems to think so, as they've signed and executed on multi billion dollar contracts with Microsoft to develop and co develop their IVAS, IVAS $22 billion project. So we got our hands on an Apple Vision Pro and headed to Tampa to see if this headset could really be a practical tool, integrating with Aventus respiratory protection or just a toy. We're in Tampa, Florida, and we're headed to our hotel to prep for a kick-ass range tomorrow. We're here at Fishhawk Sporting Clays in Lithia, Florida. At Ventus, we like spending some time on the range, you know, trialing and testing and making our tactical respirator even better. We thought it'd be a fun time to bring in the Apple Vision Pro, put it on the range, put it through some tests, but also as we develop and innovate at Ventus, you know, looking at the soldier of the future, uh, what does a heads-up display look like? What does the helmet of the future look like? Yeah, it was really interesting kind of looking through a camera. The faster of this thing, the lag and the ability for it to pick up exactly what you're looking for, looking at at the right time, is phenomenal. I can actually see right through the EOTech as if my eyeball was right behind it. So, you know, so far really impressed with the Apple Vision Pro and how it can integrate here. So depending on what you're looking at, you know, that becomes really granular. When you're looking around the peripheral, you know, it's a little more pixelated. But no, the ability to look down my iron sights on my Glock, the ability to look through the EOTech on the long gun, um, pre pretty impressed in the first, you know, one hour of us trying this out. Hey, Meg. Nice. So we just tried that because I wanted to see what the lag is like and I know we've seen videos of people playing ping pong um, but the ability to move your hands at the same speed as the, the camera's picking it up is just phenomenal so that was, that was a really fun little drill. Clint, what's happening man? Good, hi Arch, how are you? Good, I'm just going to move you out of the way of my target here. Um, yeah man, I just wanted to get your advice. Uh, I'm, I'm on the range today, I'm here at Fishhawk Sporting Clays in Lithia. Um, and I'm finding I'm, I'm hitting high left right now and I'm, I'm looking over my sights, I'm just trying to figure out what's going wrong. What do you, what do you think? Yeah, it's a very common problem. I, I would just say, really focus on your breathing, take your time, make sure you really get over their sights, really concentrate on that trigger pull, and uh, I think you'll do great, man. All right, man. Thanks, man. Okay, hold on there. I'm just going to take a couple of shots. Let me know. I'll, I'll let you know right now. Okay, yeah, dead center, thoracic area. I'm feeling good. <laughs> that was sweet. So cool. So uh, on there, like I had you come up in front of the target. I just kind of pinched you, moved you out of the way. We had our quick chat. Target was open. Fired a couple of rounds. You're still there. Wow. Oh, it's so cool. This must be what it's like to be, yeah. Uh hair and makeup. I'll just pretend you're Brad Pitt under there, okay? The Bollywood version of Brad Pitt. <laughs> uh, as someone who spent 20 years in the forces uh, wearing, uh, you know, nods, night, night vision goggles and a number of other accessories on a helmet, uh, this thing hasn't bothered me in one bit. So we've had a great day on the range so far. What we've decided to do now is to step it up a bit. We've seen some great reviews of people, you know, catching stuff thrown at them, wearing the Apple Vision Pro and playing ping pong and some great footage of that. So what we're gonna do now is go try to hit a, a sporting clay.
Uh, first impressions, it's it's amazing. It, it is it is phenomenal. We found it worked amazingly well with not only the, the helmets that we brought, but also the TR2 mask. The straps were amazing. We tried both versions of straps. This this wider strap is, is phenomenal for spreading that load out. I've been not an Apple guy my whole life. I've had a lot of other products and competing ecosystems, but uh, I'll tell you what, today has made me kind of rethink that a little bit. This is quite, quite the trick. So speaking to the learning curve of it, we didn't open any instruction manual, didn't really you know have any training, came into this kind of eyes wide open, not knowing what to expect, you know, the eye tracking, I can't overstate how phenomenal the eye tracking is. It, it wherever you precisely look, it puts uh, the highlight highlighted cursor right there in just a pinch. You, you can have your hand almost next to your leg, anywhere you want to kind of select those items. So today is kind of day one of this uh, journey. We're gonna hope to get in, out a few more times with the device in, in a handful of different environments as people discover uh, new apps specifically built for this device. and really trying to kind of understand what its limits are, right? We're here in sunny Florida today and, you know, a little bit warm, so really good in a hot environment, a little sweaty, but still no fogging, no issues there. We'll get it in definitely some cold environments very soon as well while we're still in the winter. And just, just putting it through its paces with a variety of different um, uses where, where folks might might be looking to use respiratory protection as well. We want to make sure that this, um, this works well and, and those things all interoperate um, the way we need them to.